So it's to suppose that it's somewhere here. This is it. Let's see what is the smallest area. It's 3.50, 3.5. 2.5. So it's, it's to be projected somewhere. It means that we have it somewhere. So since this sketch is very small, I'm just going to represent this small part here so that we have more room to put all the measurement. So what I need here is going to be all this dimension. We just find out is 2.75. The largest area is 5.5. mm. Let's see what is the width. It's 3.5. 3.15. Let's say 3.15. That's enough to represent that part. Let's bring this down on the bottom side. To so this the bottom and we have this hole for that allows the screw to turn inside when you you twist in it. And I, like I said, I don't necessarily need to represent the same thing here. However, I can uh, I can consider the length of the hole here and the height is uh, 12, uh, almost 13, 13. I say 14, but. It doesn't need to be that big. I'm just gonna put 12 now. Let's put 12. Because what this thing does is it allows you to put anything that is flat and then twist it, turn the part and lock it. Let's see what is the, uh, the height of it. It's almost 3. 247. I'm just gonna use 247. Two, well, I'll use 250. But here uh, I'll do another sketch where I can show. I can, I can show the, the height. 250 for the for the width. 250 for the width. Okay. This is okay. 250. And uh, last, it's going to represent the side view of the part. Like you can see it this way. What it's going to look like is something like this. Not necessarily that. You just have this. So this is the biggest area the middle one and the smallest one here. It's going to be two side view but I think we just need one at this time. One will be enough to to explain everything. So this what is the height here? 2.43. I'll put 2.5. A family matter. Two point five. What about this area here? going to be a bit tricky but we can still do it. It's two point it's almost two here. It's two let's make sure. 
Yeah, it's two millimeter. Two millimeter here. And uh, for the smallest part, let's see the height. It's 3.25. 3.25. 3.25. There, right down. Yeah, it says 75. No, this is represented here. Okay. The hole that is inside is not that important. I think they use it for manufacturing purpose. Um, from injection molding, they probably use that uh, to be able to pull out the piece quite easily. Here we're going to 3D print it. I think I have everything I need so far. Let's make sure the... Uh, oh yeah, I need to know the, the thickness of this small part as well. I need to know how thick it is. It's about two millimeter too. Two millimeter, two millimeter. This is two millimeter. Okay. That's enough. That's enough. Okay, we're talking about the hole inside. Just pull a note here. Hole was. Uh, Almost three. That's too much, I think. I just put two, two millimeter or two point five. No, two is fine. I'll just put two millimeter. So I think we have all the information we need here to start creating the three D card file for three D printing. We have uh, all we need: the biggest surface area, the medium one, the, and the smallest one. We have a height, what each side size measure. We have each one of them. We have a hole for the screw. So we have a, the measurement for the side also. How wide and how long it is. We have everything. I think we should be good for the next step from here.